Hey friends, it's Dimitri with Brushka Streetwear. As you can tell in front of me, there is a gigantic tower of lighters. So this is actually, at this point in time, it's a mistake that I made as a business owner, not really understanding what I got myself into. So back in 2019, around that time, I thought that I would create custom lighters from BIC. You know, there's brands that do this. They can print whatever you want on the, on the lighter and you could chip it out. But I didn't realize that to ship these, it's an entire process that's very research and labor intensive just to be able to ship something out. So what I did was I went to USPS's website to figure out how I can ship them. And what I learned was, yes, you can technically ship lighters, but to do so, you have to jump through a lot of hoops. You have to get a lot of paperwork to do it properly and to do it legally. Um, and I originally attempted to do this. I submitted paperwork. I tried to, you know, have my lighters be approved to sell and I got rejected early on doing trying to do this here is the letter of rejection that says I cannot ship these so these cost me I think these cost me a little bit over four hundred dollars and this tray was full these are the lighters that I've either given away or used uh, over the years it's been like four years um, so I'm stuck with all this inventory that's basically dead. I can't move it. I can't sell it. I could only sell it locally if someone wanted to buy one of these locally um, because there's way too many regulations with shipping these. So for instance, these have to be packaged in an adequate mailer so that these are not tumbling around uh, something like a small box. I'll show you an example. From my research, this is something, this is kind of, I think would be an adequate box for to ship a lighter. It's wrapped in bubble wrap. It has cushioning around it and it's in a cardboard box. Um, but I have yet to determine if that's actually appropriate. That's uh, what my thoughts are for that as of now. Um, you have to have these approved by the Department of Transportation or another agency that basically tests these lighters. And from what I've read, it costs upwards of $500, something like that, just to get a, it tested. And what, after you get it tested, you get a certain approval number and you have to have that approval number and that paperwork to present to the postal manager in order for them to give you a written approval to ship out the lighters. Not only that, but in this paperwork that I got back from the postal manager, it says that I have to be a authorized distributor of these lighters from the BIC brand, which is also really strange. So I'd have to jump through a hoop to get that. Um, so basically this was one of my biggest mistakes early on as a business owner. I just got into something that I completely had no clue uh, what, how to you know, solve this problem. And to this day, this stuff is still sitting here now. I have actually tried to start moving on this again and maybe this year I will be able to ship these out. I'm trying my best this year to get to do it but like I said it requires tons of research, tons of hoops to jump through and I just haven't figured it out. Now the first step that I did to see what I can do and see how this works is I bought a cigarette lighter from a another e-commerce brand now this is the funny part and this is also another interesting thing about this this lighter that was from a pretty prominent um, cigarette uh, lighter company online it was I think one of the first ones that popped up on Google and they have a huge variety of cigarette lighters that are filled with liquid right so um, this package that they sent it in and the way they sent it is actually technically illegal. The package has to be rigid. The lighter cannot tumble around in it. It has to have an approved uh, number from the DOT, DOT and it has to have approval paperwork from, the, from USPS included in this package. It also has to be labeled uh, lighters or surface transportation only. That's the other thing with, the, with shipping lighters. You cannot ship them internationally. You cannot ship them um, in the air using the um, cargo planes that they use. This has to be shipped 
via ground transportation. This package was not labeled uh, to ship via ground transportation. It very well could have been in an airplane in the air. So this is what's also confusing is that from my limited research, it seems that companies are actually shipping these illegally. Now, I mean, I could do that, but if you get caught doing that with USPS, they're really strict about that. You can get banned from shipping with USPS. You can get heavily fined. Uh, they take that kind of stuff really seriously. So I'm, I'm not really sure what to do at this point. I guess I'm going to crawl and scrape my way through the internet and really, really try to figure this pickle out because I want to get rid of this stuff. I know there's a lot of people that would love to buy these and I do not want them anymore. They've been sitting for years and it's been a weird burden <laughs> as a business owner. Um, obviously there's $400 worth of inventory just sitting there and wrapped up and I'd love to have that cash back. Um, from my limited research also, it seems to me that I will either break even or make a very, very slim profit if I jump through the hoops and get the necessary paperwork and get these tested as, you know, safe lighters to ship and all that stuff. And doing all of that, I still have to get written approval from the post manager to send these out, even if I jump through all the hoops uh, before that which sucks. So I will slowly work on that and continue to do that. And if I successfully accomplish that, I will make an in-depth video about how to do all this so you guys can legally ship lighters and not do this sort of thing where you ship them illegally because I guess that's how other companies are doing it. So anyways, I hope you guys got some value out of this video. If anyone is watching this video and they have shipped lighters before legally, please let me know in the comments. Uh, because I cannot find any adequate information about that. Anyways, I'll catch you guys later. Thanks.